Hello, kids. Hello, hello, everyone. How are you? I hope that all of you is doing well. Welcome to the second session of waterfall on land uh, training. So, as I promised to you, um, we are now going through different things from the last time. So, the last time we were more focused um, on core and some approach, uh, uh, some sorry, uh, approach for the beginners on passing and ball skills. So, today we are developing the handling that's very important for water polo and we are going through, through some exercises for our leg strength. So, I hope that you're ready. What you need today is just the ball. In my case, I got a tennis ball. You can use whatever ball you have home. The most important thing and that is a safe ball. So, you are not bouncing a ball around the room and breaking any kind of stuff because I don't want your mom getting crazy. The other thing that you need is just a pair of spare socks. Just I need that you take in two socks and create a sort of ball with them. We're going to use them later, but get them ready. So I can wait one minute. If you haven't got all the material you need, so the ball and the socks, you can have one minute to get and take it. In the meantime, I'm going to say a couple of things about water polo, a couple of more things of, um, sorry, on water polo. Basically, we start speaking about water polo by I didn't show you anything because it's really, really hard to put some video on live. So, don't worry about that. I'm going to send you over an email after the session with a small link, uh, probably more than one, just to um, give you an idea for, of what water polo is. But I warmly suggest to you to go on YouTube, write water polo. We got a ton of videos that are very, very cool on water polo. You know, I'm the, the guy that is watching full matches, but probably for you a full match is quite, it could be boring because you're not understanding all the stuff that is happening. So, start the first approach with some motivational video or some collection of uh, super goals or something like that because they are really great. So, having said this, I hope you practice a bit on the skills that we uh, saw the last time. So, the bouncing skills, the wrist skills, the twisting the ball approach. So, I really hope that you practice. If not, not worry about that. You will have time to improve. But, and I will repeat this until I will be dead. Don't feel frustrated if you can't do all the exercises at the best way possible. Okay? Not worry about that. Just try and try and try. And, you know, you know what I said? The more you train, the faster you improve. That's the rule, guys. I will keep my Q&A uh, window open all the time, but I will read all the questions at the end. That's because I will perform all the session with you. I'm very lucky. Today is quite windy, so it's not hot like the last time. I hope to not to sweat too much, but I really hope to do it because it means that our metabolic system is working properly. So, if you're ready to start sweating, we're going to start with a small warm up, couple of exercises, and here we go. So, take the ball that you take, that you have, take in your right hand, and start bouncing the ball as the last time. Now, we know that the last finger that is touching the ball to hit the twist is the middle finger. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Switch hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch hand again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, back hand, guys. Now, we're going to pass the ball from our back hand to the other back hand. Okay? Something like that. Make sure that you have the balance. The balance is made with your 
fingers spread wide. So I got a big hand, but it doesn't matter. Okay, guys. Just keep the balance of the ball on your back hand, and then, sorry, <laughs> and then throw the ball up and switch the hand. Are you ready? Ten times. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I drop it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, etc., etc. Uh, just those um, small things, guys. Right? Uh, it doesn't matter the ball you have because uh, in my case I'm using a tennis ball. Um, I'm facilitating some exercise and I'm in extremely difficult the other exercises. So this is depending on the size, the weight, um, the material of the ball. It doesn't matter. The one you have, some exercise you will be facilitating and for some exercise you will be uh, in difficult. So don't worry about that. Just do your best. Okay. Our brain is on. We recall some exercises from the last time. We're going to recall other exercises. So, take a wall in front of you. I'm going to put my laptop to show you what I'm doing. We're going to start bouncing the ball with, your, with our right hand. So, the left hand on the wall, stay close. We are doing the catapult moves with the, with the wrist. So, ball on the palm. Don't squeeze the ball. Finger spread, wide spread and start bouncing the ball. Just bounce and catch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are doing again for 30, 30 passing. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big breath and go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big breath. Don't worry if you drop it. Take it and start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Nine, ten. Now, guys, we're gonna make it harder. We're gonna switch the hand. We're gonna do it with our left hand. I don't know if some of you is left-handed. If yes, good for you guys. You need to work at the same way with your strong end and with your weak end in in order to uh, let your body improve quickly with both your hemisphere are you ready three two one 30 again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten big breath one two three four five six seven eight nine ten big breath again one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. 30 and 30. Now we are just at the beginning, guys. So get ready now. We're gonna do five with the right, five with the left. When we switch the hand, we must be fast. So five, 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 and five. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. One. Two, three, four, five, switch. One, two, three, four, five, switch. One, two, three, four, five, switch. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, guys. I hope you are doing good. Uh, make sure to watch the screen if you don't understand, if you're struggling, watch the screen. I will do all the exercises all the time. So it would be easier for you. Um, to auto correct your body, your way of doing the exercise. Okay, it's quite important. So now we can make it a bit funny. Okay, take the socks that you have with you. You need one sock because now we are going to make this exercise a way harder. So wear the socks on your hand, and what you need to do is to keep all the time your fingers spread. As you can see, my fingers are spread wide as much as I can. It's very hard, but that's very good for your, sorry, <laughs> for your finger strength. So we are working now with a big surface. It's really, really hard to control the ball, but it's a good variation to this kind of exercises. Are you ready? Three, sorry, <laughs> three, two, one and one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, what do you think? We can make it faster. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> but when this was too fast. Switch the hand with the socks. Keep the fingers wide open. Get ready. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and <laughs> ten. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna make it faster, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Good job. So this was a variation, a very funny one, but it's very good. If you want to practice at home, you will need only just a pair of spare socks. So just this could be a stupid things, but make a big difference. OK, as I promised to you, we're going to go through a good leg training, leg training, ah, sorry, leg training. So you need a comfortable surface if you have it. If you don't have it, don't worry. It's not fundamental, okay? I'm not using it. So I'm going to show you the fundamental uh, position for the water polo player on the leg. So when we are doing exercises to, to when you're doing passing, when you're doing ball skills, we are holding this position. So if you are right-handed, your left leg is in front, your right leg is back. So take the space that you need and Get ready in this position facing the wall. OK, now I'm turning up the camera so you can see the exercise. So. That's too much. So from this position now, left leg, left hand here, right hand is high. Oh, sorry, guys, I will buy a fish eye <laughs> to make this session more clear. We are holding the elbows really high the hand is supporting the ball. From this position, now we are doing <coughs> 10 passing using all the body. So our stance comes from your belly. We are passing the ball, make the ball bounce into the wall and catch it again. If you can't or if you're struggling to catch the ball with one hand, for now you can use two hands. But the very important thing uh, is that you are passing the ball with one. So. I'm taking some space. I'm ready. On my go. Ten passing. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Now switch. Right leg in front. Left hand up with the ball. Get ready. Keep your elbow high. Your elbow must uh, get over your, the, the line of your heel. So, are you ready? Ten times again. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was the basic. Now we're going to make it harder. Okay, we know now the basic position for passing. What we're going to do is starting on your feet with your left and left leg in front. Now we are going down, but we are not touching the floor with your right knee. So we are going down, but we are not touching the floor. The ball is high. We are going down. Now, we're going to push with your left leg up and we are passing the ball on the wall and catch. So, fast and catch and go down. Fast and catch. We're going to do it for 10 times. This is called passing lunges. Big name or easy exercise. I'm trying to make it better on the screen. Okay. Are you ready? Left leg in front. Right like that. Are you ready? Ball up, down and pass. One, down and 
Sit. Down and three. Down and four. Down and five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. Switch leg and switch hand. Do left. Get ready. Three, two, one, and down and pass. When you're going up, you're passing the ball. Down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, ten. Good job, guys. You need to feel your quads burning, guys. If they're burning, you're working very good. Okay, now, legs wide open, like this. We are doing a squat position, and we are holding this position, like a little crabby. Facing the wall, we are doing 10 passing, using only your wrist, holding this position. It's very tiring, guys, very demanding. So, not worry if you can do all the 10 passing in a perfect way. Just practice. Are you ready? Big breath. Three, two, one. Down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Up. Big breath and switch hand. Ready? Three, two, one. Down. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Shake your legs. Shake your legs a bit. Get ready. Again with your right hand now. Three, two, one. Down and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Shake your legs. Get ready. Three, two, one, down, and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up, good job, guys. Okay, flex a bit. Now, sorry, can you see me? Now, we're going to do a challenge now. We're going to do ten passing with right, ten passing with left, ten passing counts one. So, Try to do as many sets as you can, only in the squat position. So 10 passing means one, 20 passing means two. So at the end, if you score four, you are a pro, you, get, you are ready to get in the water with me, okay? Are you ready? Stand up in front of the wall. Three, two, one, down and go. Two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. <laughs> I got four set. I hope that you reach at least one or two. We can cheat on it, okay? You can say three. I will cut one set from your number. Good job, guys. I, I hope that you are doing good. During this session, um, yes, I can give you a proper session of water polo on the land, but we have not enough time. So use these, these exercises to practice at home. So when you are alone, when you are annoyed, just turn off Fortnite because it's exactly what I'm doing. I'm turning off Fortnite and just doing my exercises. You can do it, you can improve very fast if you are training on a daily basis. So, what we can do now is just, I can show another more exercise that you can do after the leg session. You can do these two exercises, the lunges passing and the oldies squat passing, uh, the two main exercises that we've seen today, to improve our, your leg strength. You can do um how many sets you want and the more the better guys remember so the next one is focused on the basic 
legs position in water polo. We didn't talk about it because it's a big argument. I want to start from the beginning the next time speaking about this. I don't know if the, main, the, the most of you is knowing the uh, water treading, so the water tread, so the egg beater. That's the basic technique to float vertically in the water. It doesn't matter if you don't know it. Just this exercise can improve your flexibility and your core strength for this exercise in particular. So, facing the wall, please guys, do it without your shoes on because you are getting the wall dirty. So, feet on the wall, legs wide open, pull with your hands straight on the floor. We are raising, we are going up. Sorry, I'm make sure you can see it properly, sorry. You are pushing up like a crunch, ball up, feet on the wall as wide as you can, bottom close to the wall. We are raising up, bouncing the ball and getting down. One, two, three, four, as many times as you can. Now we are doing it together, okay? Ten times, guys. Only ten times with right, ten times with left, and we done for today. Get ready? Three, two, one, and one. Two, three, four. Then leave your hands straight. Be smooth, nice and easy. Don't hit the ball. Go up and down. The third thing is going up is the head. And switch hand. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. We can have a tons of variation, guys, of all these exercises. For example, one of this is just double pass before going down, like one, two, and down. One, two, and down. Or alternate hand, just right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. The only limit that you have is your fancy. If you want to make it harder, you can wear the socks. Socks on your hand is absolutely a way harder of the normal one. So, guys, you need your fantasy. If you got any suggestion, if you want to share anything with me, uh, your workout daily, if you want to write down the exercises that you love to do, you can send them uh, as a WhatsApp message. Your parents have my numbers or my email. I can uh, give a as more advice to your exercise and say, okay, you are working good and I can give you one more tip. It's an excuse to get in touch, it's an excuse to, you know, improve faster together. So, you know, it's absolutely great if you're doing anything like that. So, now, <laughs> we now, I'm having a breath, I'm taking a break, <laughs> because speaking and doing exercise is never easy, but I'm doing my 100% and that is for you guys. So, now it's Q&A time, we got five, six minutes, please make your question uh, and I will try to reply to you uh, now. If you have, you didn't, sorry, if you're not receiving any answer, that's because we are running out of time. I will reply to your questions uh, on, at the beginning of the next session or by email when I'm sending the email all together. So, when you're ready, I'm waiting for your question. So, feel free to start Give me your question. <laughs> I said, Madison, thank you. This is good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sir, this is my first class. Oh, what should I do, guys? Uh, okay, we've got on the screen my contact details, so you can find uh, my numbers and my emails on that screen. The last time I got my wrong number on the screen, I'm really sorry, that was my foul. So this is the right one, the right email address. So this is the way to get in touch with me. So let me read some question. Can you see us? No, I can't see you guys. That's why you need to put a great attention on the screen when I'm doing the exercises, because the only way uh, to have a correction is to watch the video, watch myself, what I'm doing, 
and do the same things and try to do the same things, try to imitate me. Oh, this is a very awesome class. Thank you very much, but this is just the beginning, guys. Now, how do you play correct water polo? Guys, practicing. Practicing is the key, training session. Uh, I'm I'm still a professional player. I'm defining still myself as a professional player. I'm taking one year break because it's really hard after 20 years of playing to uh, keep the same level, keep the super high level. So uh, I'm used to train for water polo 11 times per week, plus the gym sessions. So we got two training sessions per day during the week. So water polo is a really demanding sport and the more Guys, same rule, the more, the better. The more you stay in the water, the better and the faster you improve. So that's the key, practicing and practicing and practicing and obviously having a great fun with your teammates. Now guys, I know that it's really bad that we can, we can't do it together. Okay? I'd love to have you all on my balcony around the session, but it's impossible now. So, uh, you know, go on, carry on, keep it hard. So just don't give up now and we, when we will be allowed to, to crown and stay together, I promise you I will welcome all of you on the good side for a trial session to see what happens if you like it, a proper water bottle. It's weird doing without water, yes, it's super weird guys, I miss the water so much. Yes, Madison, every week on Tuesday at 3 o'clock, um, did you use softball or harder ball? Guys, in my case, I've got a tennis ball because this is the ball that I got home. I can't go out to buy a new one, so it's not a water polo ball. I don't care. I'm doing my best which, uh, with sorry, um, the equipment that I have. Uh, 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 a softball, so it was hard to do. I know, guys. That's why I told you different balls get different results. Now, Take confidence with your own ball. You will have exercise that you will be facilitated to do, and you will, um, will sorry, and I will do exercises. I will suggest exercise that will be harder for you. But it doesn't matter. Do your best with your equipment. I'm not asking you to do the perfect things the second time that we do in session. Uh, the class in UAE before the coronavirus, uh, guys. I'm Hamilton Sharks for the year for the this the current season. Uh, was based in a national school for boys in Al Basha. Uh, I'm not sure if this will be the location for the next year. That's because all the coronavirus uh, get all the situation mad. But not worry. If you want to know more about location and stuff, please feel free to send me an email. I will keep you. I will add you on my uh, customer list, and I will send you all the news about our um, location, future location. Oh, thank you too, guys. Thank you for attending. Have you got any other question, guys? <laughs> my name, <laughs> my name is Giulio. I'm Italian, so my name is pronounced Giulio. <laughs> I know it's weird, guys. It's a lot of vocals inside my name. It's not also for Italian people to say it properly. Uh, maybe a mat. Uh, uh, yes, guys, if you've got a mat, you can use it. As you can see, I'm a strong man. I'm not using anything. My knees, yes, I'm suffering a bit, but I have got my knees stronger with the floor. So, you know, guys, everything is an excuse to improve or to get some um, challenge to my training session. How do, you do we play water polo in the water? Oh, guys, we need opponents, teammates, a ball, a referee, goals, <laughs> uh, a coach, that's me. So you, you start with the coach, that it's me, and then we can get all the rest of the stuff <laughs> during the time, okay? Uh, I think that's it, guys. If you haven't got any question, no worries. And if, he, if I uh, didn't, sorry, if I didn't reply to all your uh, is water polo, sorry, I've got time for another one. I like this one. Is water polo related to football or basketball? Uh, yes, water polo is born in England uh, as rugby in the water. Then, uh, time by time, uh, the game developed in a mixture of basketball, 
football because we've got goals, but I can say more handball, uh, rugby, and obviously swimming. Guys, we've got some elements of a lot of sports mixed uh, in a really tough sport in the water. It's an Olympic sport, guys. Um, I played for my team in Italy and I coached um, Great Britain the last year, so the UK team. So it's a very tough sport, but super fun, super demanding. And I love it, guys. This is my life. I can't say anything bad about water polo. So I'm the wrong person to ask. What size is the actual water polo ball? Uh, the size is a size five. You can take a football and the same size of the football, but a bit, you know, more handling. So it's just, a, I don't know how to say in English, it's more sticky. Not sticky, but something like that. Uh, okay, so I think that we're done. Is uh, yes, it's three thirty. I need to leave you going. Please, if you want, you can go on to practice a bit more now that your mind is fresh. Uh, if not, have a beautiful day. Promise me you will practice on our skills for the next week. I want to see you. I'm not seeing you, but I want to see you better. Uh, I want you feeling better and uh, have a beautiful day guys, have a beautiful week and stay fit guys, bye!